welcome to the Best Damn Book Club on the internet. My name's Ryan Talmadge, that's Davis Crocker, this is Two It's Reading Comics, and today we're talking about Lock and Key, Volume 4. Davis, go ahead and tell them where they can find us, all that fun stuff. As always, thank you for joining us this week's episode 181. We get to talk about Lock and Key, Volume 4, Keys to the Kingdom. As always, tell your friends, your family, anyone who wants to listen to Two Idiots talk about comics, you can check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and you can listen to us anywhere you get your podcast. And as always, let's get into it. So, how you been, buddy? Uh, all right. Um, I don't even know where to begin. Uh, well, I can start with my eventful trip to Arizona. Yeah, do it. So, blew out uh, Wednesday. Well, going into Thanksgiving, Colton had uh, RSV, so yeah. we uh, couldn't go south for Thanksgiving, so we stayed at home. Uh, luckily, we had some great neighbors and co-workers of Bailey's that uh, brought us some turkey and dressing and sweet potatoes and pies and enough food so we could at least have a Thanksgiving dinner. And then I flew to Arizona the following Wednesday, and it took me 18 hours to get there. Um, I was supposed to have left at like 6.30 in the morning, landed by 1 o'clock Arizona time, so it's an hour behind us. Yeah. Um, They're not uh, Pacific time? No, so they don't observe observe oh, daylight yeah, savings yeah. time. So yeah. when the West Coast goes backwards, they stay the they mm-hmm. now just become an hour behind Central. Okay, um, which I wish the rest of the fucking state would do and stop this time changing bullshit. Uh, so I got to the airport in Huntsville, and the uh, plane was delayed three hours. While I was in there, so got on one plane, got to hunt Houston. Once I got to Houston, because we had been delayed so long, I had to wait six and a half hours in the Houston airport to get on the night plane to get to Tucson, and didn't land in Tucson until like nine thirty Arizona time. And why didn't you go do something fun in Houston? I didn't know what the fuck, dude. I don't fly enough to know how to get in and out of an airport, like That's legitimately. Like, Either way, but yeah, I, everybody's asking me that, and it's like, man, I'm don't like this whole fucking day is already so shitty. I don't want to be out of the airport and something happen, yeah. and not be able to get back in the airport and yeah. miss this fucking flight. Yeah. Uh, plus, by the time I left the airport, got checked back in, I'd only been out of the airport like, gotten to be out of the airport like three hours, because coming back in, getting rechecked in, getting everything back squared away. Yeah. So. Did the work, came home Thursday. We were in line, so I changed it to a different company for flights. We were in line at the kiosk to get my, because I already checked in, bought my baggage tag for all that shit for my check bag. Kiosk had three of 12 kiosks open. Tried to make me buy another luggage tag. I talked to the lady there. It's like, hey, I've checked in, bought my tag. Uh, it's not letting me get my tag. She's like, oh, well, you got to go get in the main line. There's 25, 30 people in there waiting on two people to work like two people were working Mm -hmm. and both of them had missed their early flights. So they kept arguing and getting delayed. And because of, they got delayed. Apparently there's some rule that you have to be in the, your bag has to be checked 45 minutes before the plane takes off. So they can put your, put your bag on the plane. I've never heard that rule before (laughs) ever. Any, no one's ever talked about that. Uh, Seems like a process. I, 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 I get bags, it's a so. I, I get I get it's a process. I mean, I was out there for a week and a little over a week, so I mean, I had to have enough work clothes to hmm. work. Uh, so because they were delayed, it snowballed, affected everybody behind them, and only like one person out of like the twenty folks in front of me made it to their plane in time. So all of us, every time somebody got up there, it's like, oh yeah, you've missed your flight. You got to kick you to the next one, and people start arguing and complaining and fussing. And it's like. Like there's one couple that was up there for 15, 20 minutes, just like, no, no, we, we have to be on this plane. Like we have, and, and they're like, it left at X times. Like you've already missed the fucking plane. Yeah. Like, like, yes, yes. This Can't whole process it was, out. it's like this whole process has been fucked up. Like, yes, they kind of started the snowball, but then y'all are just now arguing. Making it worse. To, to, to make it work. Like nothing's yeah. changing. And so at least that they, 
So the flight out took me 18 total hours to get out there and coming home. It only took me about nine, 10 hours, but dude, it's the worst Shouldn't fucking be that, luck. Like bad of flight. No, it, dude, it was the worst fucking luck I've ever had flying. Yeah. And it's only the fourth time I've ever flown, but God dang it. It fucking sucked ass. But, Yikes. Uh... Oh, Oh, and then uh, Tucson coming home, there was a family had a kid throwing up like in the lobby, like in the gate, like at the gate, like yeah. getting ready to get on the plane. And the whole time, I'm like, please, God, don't let them get on my flight. Yeah. For and right. the, they weren't getting on my flight, but even the attendants and all were like, uh, yeah, we're going to have to like they're talking to each other. It's like, no, we're going to have to go tell them they cannot fly today. Like he, no. he was throwing up for like 20 minutes. And they're like, yeah, we can't, we can't let him. We That's cannot let them lied. get on a flight. How old was the kid? Uh, nine. I mean, uh, he was young. I mean, he was young. I was like, that's when if he was like sixteen or above, I'd be like, ah, oh, we let him have a little bit too much. Uh, yeah, he. We, we, we got a little. We got a little carried away. Yeah, but no, he was he was young. I mean, he was nervous or something, but it was just nonstop. And they they're like, yeah, we we're about to go tell them that they can't fly. But Damn. dude, I don't understand why people the the plane stops moving. Mm -hmm. And the flight attendants and all say, welcome to Houston or welcome to wherever. Right. We've now reached gate X. We will begin the onboarding process. People in the back of the plane right. just jump up and get all their shit. Like oh, they're, they're about getting to... out of their dog. No. They're being they the jump whole up. line. No, they jump up and they're stuck back there. Yeah. <laughs> like they just, like, like everybody, because but... everybody in front of them jumps up and it's like everybody just. Like the aisles just jump out into the aisle and then they stand you know, there for 15 minutes. How many football buses we've been on in our lifetime? It happens on buses too. Dude, just like, I just, I'm going to sit there. But everybody to, says to beat, the beat the crowd. Yeah, to beat the crowd, just sit there behind everybody. Yeah. It's just like, I'm not going to waste energy. Well, I just sat in the middle seat. The guy beside me was like getting antsy, like kept leaning forward. I'm like, I was just like, dude, I'm not. No, to me. The line's not fucking moving. The only way I stand up is like I don't even get in the aisle. I just stand up because being on a plane that long fucking sucks. And I'm oh yeah, dude, six two. Luckily, I only had to fly like two hours at a time. And uh, yeah. yeah, my whole round trip, like it, the amount of time I was on the plane, was like eight total hours, and I spent almost eight hours in Houston alone waiting to get on planes total. I don't understand how you don't. They make planes with enough fuel to get from. Either Atlanta or Huntsville to Arizona. You would think, but I I, yeah. I would assume that the Huntsville airport's not big enough. It only has like eight gates total. It doesn't even yeah. have two terminals. It'd probably have to be like Atlanta to Phoenix. Yeah. But... So like, I would imagine that the cost to keep a plane that could fly you all the way to Arizona yeah. costs too much to get. You'll never fill it. So mm -hmm. like, because the one coming out of Huntsville was a two by two. You had two on one side, two on the other. And my God, I couldn't stand up straight in the aisle. It was so, it was so tight. You oh, like, no. I was doing this walking down. The, the, I had my hat on and she goes, yeah, you might want to take it off. It's probably going to get knocked off walking down. I was like, oh, okay. I took it off and sure enough, I was like walking and like my hair was scraping yeah, the top of the roof. I'd rather hit my head. <laughs> well, I was, I was like, oh, well, it's going to catch like the knob or something. Yeah. Like it's just, it's like I'm just going to get aggravated with it. And instead mm -hmm. I'm like doing this, like my hair's clipping the top of the roof. I'm like, God, I did. Yeah. I was like this the whole way in the aisle. I was just like, I don't know. It was like, I'm not a big man. Like I'm wide, but I mean, I'm big, but holy fucking shit. I can't do that shit, man. It's fucking no. awful. Um, yeah, we've done a horrible job of, uh, uh, bulk recording for this holiday season. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's absolutely horrible. I'm not going to say <laughs> whose fault that is, but it's going to be the person who had a baby, but. And and got sick the weekend we were supposed to record four episodes. Yeah, <laughs> that, um, kinda, that whole that whole weekend got <laughs> that whole weekend got shot. Saying all that to say this, uh, we technically read a book. Uh, um, I guess three weeks ago. I don't remember ago. a whole bunch about it. <laughs> many, uh, many but it was ago. <laughs> Lock and Key Volume Four. If you want yeah. to credit some people, let's see where are we at. Man, I didn't even get this up and right. So we got a writer by Joe Hill, art by Gabriel Rodriguez, colors by Jay Fadas, letters by Robbie Robbins, and series edited by Chris Ryle, Chris Kyle, K, is that K? American no, Sniper. No, R-Y, R-Y-A-L-L, -L, oh. Ryle, 
R-Y-A-L-L. R-Y-A-L-L. So, yeah, sure. uh, what happened? We, we, we finally got a little more um, pushback I from, that, like, the... I do remember something. All right. Fucking, uh, uh, fuck face, the bad guy. Yeah. Is starting to lose a little control. Zach. Zach. Yeah. He's starting to, he almost got got this yeah. fucking uh, issue, well, I mean, this book. Te- technically, he got got, his body got got. Yeah. But his, his ethereal form is still yeah. running around. Well, it's now in, um, the boy. Yeah. Young boy. Um, Man, I hate. I always can't remember names. I know. Bode. He's, he's yeah, now in. He's got Bode. Bode's body, but and Bode he was is just real close to catching him some shit. Yeah, and his body got the guy that killed um, Bode and them's dad. Mm-hmm. The his ethereal form that's been running around this whole time. And now Bode's a ghost. And then Bode's a ghost, and I'm pretty sure that the the original, like the. One that was being framed for the kill, or not framed mm. for the kill, but the one that did kill the guy, kid's parents, he did not get out. But does that mean his mm. but his ghost still is going to be there then? Because that's how his original ghost was there. Mm-hmm. I think if you if your ghost is in a body and that body dies, I think you die. But wasn't his his ghost in the original body? That's when he died. He no, he, got, he fell through the door. That's right. And then they and killed they thought him. he died, like fell yeah. and died. That's right. Now. That's right. That's right. That's right. Um, yeah, dude. This one. It, so uh, Zach finally, uh, like you were saying, Zach finally had enough. Like he's getting Put tired. Two two he's getting, yeah. Um, they find an animal key that turns into an kind animal. of a. Uh, they did kind of a montage of just them finding keys. Yeah, uh, I've been waiting. I've been waiting on shit. that. Yeah, and then. Uh, I think Zach finally put it together. It was like the weekend. No, Ty- that... Tyler. Tyler put it together. Yeah, Tyler Zach, put it together. Zach's the bad guy. That uh, the weekends, Zach wasn't hanging out where the weekends the attacks were happening. Mm-hmm. Or, or it was uh, when he was on his uh, trips or whatever. Like he yeah. went, he goes somewhere. Um, and the animal key, the first key they find. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you remember, the artwork for that scene was almost like a. Um, Charlie Brown Christmas, Charlie yes. Brown S where style. Uh, Bo is the bird and yeah. Zach is the wolf. Um, Tyler's like, when he finally puts everything together, he's like, that wolf had nuts. Like, that wasn't a female. Yeah. And then, like, oh, well, you're not here on these weekends. Then you're not here, here, and there. Mm-hmm. And, um, it's, it's, it's finally getting, it's getting fucking fucked up. Yeah. Uh, the, the animal key was interesting. So, can you turn into any animal you want to, or you just, just get one animal. animal? Yeah, I think it's spare down. Because eh. Bo wasn't happy about being a bird. No, until he met the group and yeah. uh, started talking to like the he was like a I don't even like a Tweety Bird sparrow? that flies in yeah a sparrow that flies in like thirty yeah. forty at a time. Mm-hmm. Um, the face changing key. Yeah, that was weirdly creepy. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm going to the back to look at the keys we've... So we knew about the ghost key, the echo key, yes. the anywhere keys, the doors, the, mm-hmm. the head key, gender key, yep. shadow key. Yep. That's one where we got to control it. The mm-hmm. giant key, the mending key. So we got to learn about the animal key, the music box key, which apparently you turn a music box on, tell people to tell them whatever you want to. Yeah. They'll do whatever you control. want. Yeah. Zach took advantage of that and held mm-hmm. um, Tyler in the house. Yeah. Uh, I do like how when they're introducing like all the keys now, like as they're finding new keys, mm-hmm. it's new updates. Like, oh, uh, yeah. like the animal, like the animal keys, the newest ones they found were excerpts from Journal of Harland Locke, eighteen fifty one. The skin key, the angels, celestial, cel- <sighs> gender key, or not gender, the uh, skin color key, skin color key. They got it. real close to being racist as hell. <laughs> They they were they were getting close. <laughs> um, the angels angels key, which gives uh gives the bear uh angel wings. Oh yeah. Uh, philosophy key, where they were looking through the little the glass. Um, Zach was looking through. Uh, it shows you something. Like what you'd it? see, like what you'd see at the top of like big tall towers, like mm-hmm. in skyscrapers. Observatories. Yeah, and it's got like a handle that tells you um, like this person's bad. This person's gonna Someone harm you. Someone that's hurting you. Love. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. And um, 
when Zach looked through it, he didn't realize who that uh he was looking uh, at the ghost guy. Yeah, the ghost kid while Bode was there. Uh Hercules Key, which gives you strength of Hercules, which Tyler mm-hmm. used to um pretty much murder an entire high school hockey team. Hmm. No, that guy, yeah. Uh and that is all the keys. Mm. It's all the keys that have been listed. Um we got to get a little more information about the, the dad's past, the lady that's living in the insane asylum. Mm-hmm. Um, Zach took all of her memories, and but all she can remember is Tyler's dad, mm. like that she loves him, and uh, white space, and that Zach isn't, like, she remembers the face of Zach, yeah. but that's it. Mm. Uh, and everybody thinks she's racist because she keeps screaming, she no, keeps white, screaming white, at, white. Yeah. Uh, but just white space in her head when they finally look at her. Yeah, she's dead. The cards are dead. The mm-hmm. grounds crew of that. And there was a lot of death in this episode. Yeah, and Zach murdered some motherfuckers. Yeah. Um. But yeah, other than that, um. Oh, uh, the girl. Uh, damn, I can't remember. Did did it get in there? Well, I mean, was... damn it, I always forget the the sister's name. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Either way. Uh, she, she had some friend up. drama in this, didn't she? Well, she was opening up her head and letting people see her secrets and seeing their secrets. Oh, and yeah, then, the two dudes. Then it turned oh, into they like... They were the a, only doing that together. Then yeah. it kind of turned into like, oh, wait, you were having sex with me. No, I was having sex with you. Like, like it wasn't sex. With, it wasn't yeah. sex, but like mm-hmm. it kind of turned into like the thinking of yeah. like a thruple relationship yeah. going wrong. Hmm. Which I thought she was done with Zach in the first place, in the last book. She, she and then finally now all of a sudden they start as like boyfriend girlfriend. They, they started off, and then he said something again, and they finally broke up. Like yeah. they finally separated. Though mm-hmm. she still likes him. I mean, yeah. I, to me, it's like because it's her first yeah. boyfriend, first love that we that, know. Of. That's yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, no, still really good. Excited to see where it goes. Only got two more left, so. No, three more. Two more. Seven. There's seven. Though. Nope. We talked about this last time. There's. I think the seventh one is just like an extra thing. Or oh off. yeah, it's just called like. Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, I do. I finally looked up all the collected versions of this. I think yeah. I am going to yeah, go with either six. the compendium or omnibus or whatever it is. Uh, that hardcover one we looked at. Um, yeah. that we sent each other. I, mm-hmm. That's what I'm. Uh, uh, so this past weekend. So yeah. for folks that are listening, that whoever does listen, this will come out on the 19th. Uh, we're recording this on the 10th. Yeah. So Christmas is just around the corner. I and, actually uh, made an Amazon Christmas wish list this year. <laughs> well, I uh, so on the uh, cheap graphic novels, mm-hmm. I made a list like I've, all the books I've been wanting. Yeah. And uh, I just sent that to to the wife and the family. It's like, look. If you need something else for me, here you go. Yeah. Like, and that no, was I literally, there. I made mine on Amazon just because it's easier for people. Well, yeah. I know, I know that means I'll probably get some dinged up books, but I also have some like regular books on it. Uh, but I was really just like, hey, mom, I know you usually just do money, but I know you don't like just doing money. So right. here's this list. Use it as you will. And uh, then I tried to find the nicest way to say it. But I was just like, can you give this to my grandmother? Yeah. Just because I'm tired of getting flashlights and back scratchers that I yeah, never like, use. Like here, here's a list of stuff I really, really do want. Like, yeah, I have a list this year. You want to know some crazy shit? My <laughs> grandmother is crazy. So mm-hmm. last year, okay. she claims to be a huge Kentucky basketball fan because she's from Kentucky. Correct. But yet, conveniently come football season, she's not a Kentucky fan. Uh-huh. Um, and Y'all so took her last to a, year, huh? Y'all took her to a basketball game, right? Yeah, we took last yeah. year for Christmas. We took her to Auburn, Kentucky, in Kentucky, um, which they have a way bigger arena than Auburn, and tickets are actually easier to get up there than they are down here in Auburn. Because, Shit, uh, on the size difference. Well, the size, yeah. And so about. Two weeks ago, she comes up to me and she says, you know what I want? Or at Thanksgiving. She's like, you know what I want this year, right? And I was like, 
hold up. That was the first time I bought you a present in like 10 years. So chill the fuck out. And uh, she was like, I've never been to Auburn. And I want to go to the Kentucky Auburn game in Auburn. I was like, yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> said, I want to too, but I ain't getting to go. <laughs> oh, I take it. I was like, well, them motherfuckers sold out already. Yeah, I was about to say that. That's something you should have like, asked for a while You want to pay 200 bucks a piece? God if damn. That, God almighty. That's if one of us suck. <laughs> yeah. And y'all don't suck. No. It's not. I mean, you're not top tier like normal, but it's also you're not like losing every game. No, we have two losses. That's it. Yeah. What? 10 games in? 11 games uh, in? Something like remember. that. It's something I around think there. it's like 10 and 2. But, yeah, no, like, this year I was like, look, I got my PS5. I finally yeah. actually have played it for more than an hour at a time. Yeah. Uh, plugged it in that weekend that he got sick, thinking he would we could get him to sleep enough. And got it didn't happen. I got everything loaded, got all my four games on the five, got everything downloaded. Turn, Why don't you put those on there? Because I'm playing some of them. I'm still playing some of them. Yeah, but they're made for the four. But Unless they can... came with the five version. Yeah, so what so you can let do you download now, the five version? Yeah, what you can do now is get it in there. When you put uh -huh. the disc when you put the four disc in, it'll load in uh the five's hard drive like the the hardware for five. So I wouldn't waste you put all of them on there? That's three. Uh Assassin's Creed, the Lego and uh the F one game. I was like, I wouldn't be wasting space doing no, that. No, I mean, yeah, that's that's all I put on there. I'm the idiot that uh, bought the discless version of the PlayStation Five and had to yeah. rebuy Cyberpunk again. <laughs> Which I did. Oh yeah, because it wouldn't transfer. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, put a disc in though, whatever. So, damn. Um, yeah, that's what that was one reason I got the got the disc. Mainly yeah. it was just for that reason. It's like I'm still playing Assassin's Creed. Like mm -hmm. I want to finish it. I did catch so, it on sale for like twenty bucks though, so I didn't. Oh, nice! Massive for myself. Um, but yeah, I got the five during GameStop's Black Friday sale, so it was like mm -hmm. fifty dollars off. And then I had like all my GameStop points and my five dollar reward, so I got uh, Fallen Order for free and knocked off like another nice. ten, like another ten bucks. Nice. Because Fallen Order was like fifteen bucks. Did you get that the Spider Man Two version? No, so uh, okay. the Spider-Man 2 version only came, like, like where the cover was different and everything, was a mm -hmm. limited, like, limited release mm -hmm. special edition thing. And they're reselling for, like, $1,000. Uh, and it's like, they, uh, they've they talked about remaking the plates mm -hmm. for it, because they sold just the plates and the the skin. Mm -hmm. um, so if they re ever redo that, I might. That's but I wasn't, I wasn't so invested in Spider-Man that... Yeah. But it would have been cool to have it and my Vader yeah. together. But uh, we gotta talk about Black Friday. Them motherfuckers yeah. ain't doing deals. They ain't fucking deals. And then straight up department stores. Department store. The, Literally, department just stores go pick up the sure. price and it's the same price. Yeah, department it's just stores has for Black sure. Friday. Uh, Target got like blasted for it. Walmart. Uh, Coles, everybody. I saw. Yeah. It's like Black Friday sale, twenty four ninety nine, and people were pulling to Black Friday, and it was just on sale for twenty four ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, clothes, shirts. Like, how do you? I guess in the grand scheme of things, is just, you do the Black Friday, and then as soon as Monday comes mm. up, you just got to put them. All you got to do yeah. is take them back out instead of print brand new ones. Yeah, but you don't think someone's not going to go? What was the original price? Yeah. Well, what <laughs> um, what I think they were doing, which I don't know if it happened everywhere. I would assume mm. big box stores just send you the codes, yeah. and you just go do it. They, you don't, you're not. The, each individual store is not. Mm -hmm. reducing it um but i bet you like big companies were like oh well it's black friday so we're gonna get people that don't normally come in here that aren't gonna pay attention to the prices yeah. they're just gonna see deal and just go grab it off the shelf and just go get it they're not gonna pay attention to anything i um, uh i got a new tv uh i think this time i did get like a bigger warranty because it was literally the same uh -huh. tv that broke on me yeah i think after the warranty i think i saved 20 bucks that's it. Yeah. Well, the warranty, well, the warranty ain't gonna. Warranty that, was like fifty. Yeah, that warranty. Oh, I would have saved seventy off a of three hundred dollar TV. Which is that's still good. I mean, that's yeah. I mean, it's still not like what we grew up. Like, I mean, we used to up. have we used to have deals worth fighting people over. <laughs> like a three, like the three hundred dollar TV you're talking about would have been like a hundred dollars, one fifty, or a hundred dollars. Right? Yeah, like, people would have been in brawls over mm -hmm. that. Now it's like. 
Oh, cool. I saved 70 bucks. Not getting Perfect. new fights for 20% yeah. off. Like a PS5 would have been on sale like $150 off or $100 yeah. off, not $50 off. It used to get up to like dang near like 75% off stuff. Yeah, like you were you were damn near buying everything you needed, like half. Like mm-hmm. you were spending half the amount of money. And now yeah. it's like, now the only deals I really ever really saw this year were like electronics, where yeah. they like posted like online, like this is $200, we're going to sell it for 175 Because I think electronics still has that stigma of like, oh, I can wait till Black Friday. Mm-hmm. Most others like clothes and stuff. It's like, nah, I need that shit yeah. now. Like I have to get pants. It's yeah. like, I'm going to go buy the pants whether they're on sale or not. Update from Thanksgiving. I have new three or three brand new pair of jeans. <laughs> hey, somebody give them to you? Uh, no. I went to uh the store I go to in Hoover and uh misread a Black Friday sign and bought three pairs, thinking I was about to get a deal, and I paid full price for all of them. <laughs> you paid full price for each pair of pants. Yeah. Spent about three hundred dollars <laughs> on clothes that day. <laughs> Dude, that's fucked up how much blue jeans and shit cost now. Like, Especially when you go to people Levi's. our size store. Yeah, like pair of, pair of Levi's cost like 60 bucks now. Mm-hmm. And like for me, like they don't fit my thighs right. So I end up blowing the seams out in like six months. Yeah, I got and a, I just And I just blew 60 bucks on a pair of blue jeans that are just shot. I paid $55 for a quilted pullover. That was like a three quarter thing. Ooh. Washed it, wore it twice, washed it and dried it, and now shrunken doesn't fit me. <laughs> yeah. How did it fit before? Because it was, I think it's because it was cotton. No, 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 no. How did it, like, was it, it pretty felt, loose? Like, or? just right. And shrunk. <laughs> shrunk too tight. Yeah. Dude, that's fucked up, man. Yeah, yeah. That. Mm. Well, hell, man, I bought my Alabama jersey this year. Roll Tide, won the SEC championship. Uh, and, uh. I don't dry it because I mean that fucker. Oh no! Like jersey, you don't, jerseys are no, jerseys you don't are do that. Fucking too. You fucking hang those expensive. up to dry, and like I can already tell, like even just washing it, mm-hmm. like it's like it's changing, like yeah. shape size. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't imagine if that got thrown in the dryer. No, well, you, one the the you, that the material numbers, period you don't do that with. Yeah, well, one the numbers would damn near they would fuse together. Like our, yeah, like yeah. Our practice jerseys, and then like two that some bitch would shrink so goddamn fast. Yeah. Um, but yeah, dude, it's, it's fucking wicked how much shit costs now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that ends our, uh, recap of, uh, what book we read? Lock and Key. Volume Lock four. and Key. Uh, next month, volume five. Volume five. Uh, we do have a quiz. Woohoo! St- current standings. Current standings. I should have canceled you out to zero, but you I think did. I had 65 left. Correct, because you okay. got uh last time you got three right. I yes. had forty dollars, so I'd only gotten one right previous. Yeah. So you took one of your three, knocked me mm-hmm. out, and got sixty five. Okay. So. so do you want to run down the rules? Yeah. Like pull so, up your quiz. Uh, if somebody gets zero, Town would just me, and I get none right. He gets a forty bucks. If I get mm-hmm. one right, I get forty bucks. Two right, sixty five. Three gets you a crisp one hundred dollar bill. You get five right, you get one hundred and fifty bucks. But you got to hit all three, go for it all, get four and five right. If you miss four or five, you lose it all. Yeah. You just get zero. Um, um, also, if you and, miss, and we've, if yeah, you miss the first three, and then we always do five, you get to pick three out of the categories. Yeah. If you miss the first three, um, you can have a saving chance on the last two. Yeah. Because why are we going to make a five-question quiz and not yeah. do Not five? give you a redemption. Yeah. That way you can at least, well, and we're both Also broke. helps us stay broke, or yeah. stay not broke. Stay not broke. Okay, would you like to hear your categories? Yeah, let's go we've ahead. We've evolved to where all these quizzes are on books that we've read for newcomers. Yeah. Books um, we've read on the show. Yeah. Um, I have Marvel I mean, Zombies. And, and, and like, like, we can still throw in, like, for you, I can throw in, like, Pokemon. If like you that, want to, if you're I never can. getting another Harry Potter question. But you could ask me Harry Potter or Star Wars. Yeah. Um, Either way. All right. So Marvel Zombies. Marvel Zombies. Uh, okay. Do a power bomb. Have Have we gone to the point like we can like ask each other what the questions are? Are we doing that anymore? Or is it just the? You can ask for if it's a uh, 
person who's the yeah. author or writer or right. anything like that, which I have zero on here. So zero what? Like is it like zero who the author is? Yeah. Oh, um, don't know if that helps me out a lot, but Marvel Zombies do a power bomb. <laughs> uh, Southern Bastards. Ooh, Ooh um, and then two, damn. two general, uh, show questions. Mm, what do you like? Like when we did something, or or like how what many was a continuous we, or how something? How many have we done of this character? How many Ooh. have we done of this genre? Stuff like that. Okay. All right. Um. Zombies. In Marvel Zombies, who was Ant Man, Hank Pym, experimenting on? Black Panther. Yep. Ooh, that, T'Challa, and it was T'Challa Black Panther. Yeah. I figured that would be the easy one on here. Yeah, that one. See, for some reason, there I is thought, one oh, other super I, easy I thought, one. I thought Wasp, but but that was the no, one Wasp that kept. found him. That's who and found him. And then he him, was yeah. like, fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> just beat the shit out of her. Yeah. Uh,. Give me okay. The two general questions. Can you narrow them down more? Or is that can I just gonna be a you give me one of them? Uh, do you want the how many we've done of this character or how many we've done of this genre? I guess. Mm. What was the other two? Dual power bomb and Southern Bastards. Southern Bastards. I will say there is like one super easy one left. I know. That's what I'm trying to wonder, trying to figure out how you, what you did here. Because a numbers game. Uh, 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 character. The general question. Oh, how okay. many? Um, how many episodes have we done of Batman? Of Batman Sp- specific, specifically has Batman in the title, not Batman just in not the Justice title. League, not Gotham Central has Batman in the title. Okay, well we've done Batman White Knight, the second and uh, part one, part two counts as two episodes. That's right. Okay, so we've done four Snyder's. Mm, no, that Quarter Owls was two. Uh, here one. Uh, we did Batman White Knight, Batman White Knight Returns, Batman Harley Quinn. Do we do Red Hood? We did the one where he was a lantern, where he carried Joker around in a lantern. Or it's it's such a low number. You're not gonna give me one either side, are you? I'll give you. I won't ask for more than one either side. I'll give you one over or under. So you can have a first guess and I'll give you higher or lower. Nine. Higher. Eleven. Fifteen episodes on Batman. Fifteen? Yes. That have Batman in the title. Fifteen? Yes. Um, I did not list them all, but I will oh, no. do my best. See, see, that was a list. That one's one you should have listed just for posterity. I can like, like, like I not can pull, to prove it. Like, I have my phone yeah. now, so I, I can pull up our YouTube channel. What do you mean? But, have your um, phone? What do you mean? Have your phone now? Because usually when we record at your house, I have we have to record on my phone. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So one that I didn't hear you say was Batman Ninja Turtle. Shit. Um, okay. Batman and Robin. You said yeah. we only did four Snyders. We did five Snyders because death, death of the Family was death in between the, the two. Bat- um, yep. So that's that was three I've missed. Yeah. Long Halloween was a part one, part two. <clears throat> well, there, there's that's there's what I missed. Yeah, yeah, that's what I missed. Because um, Batman Damned would have been the last one. Batman. Oh yeah. 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 Because um, we've done then, we've done four we've done four White Knights. Yes, uh, White Knight, White Knight, of the White Knight, Curse of the White Knight. Yeah, um, Harley White Quinn, Knight, Harley Quinn, and then Nightwing. Beyond was, of the White Knight was the Batman Beyond one, and also had the two issues of Red Hood. 
Because remember they combined those two. Oh yeah, that's right. Red Hood was yeah. in that one. Beyond that's the right. White Knight. Yeah, that's right. Fifteen. Yeah. Wow. Damn. Okay. Yeah. All right. I was like, it, it had to have been in that that low double, but mm-hmm. man, I'm, I forgot about Long Halloween and damned. Damn. Okay. Um, was that the easy one? No. Oh. I'm not going to ask you to give me the easy one because you wouldn't be nice. No. You already got one question, right? Yeah, I already got one question, right? Um, uh, let's do, do a powerbomb. Uh, what is the dad's wrestling name in Duo Powerbomb? I, there's, I ain't got a shot at that one. I, Cobra Sun. Okay. Cobra Sun. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, okay. Are you keeping your 40 or canceling out? Uh, I'm going to cancel you. So that put me back at 40. Yeah. So what we, I mean, what would we do? Buy each other a Christmas present? Uh, I still have a birthday present you still have a birthday. <laughs> yeah that gotta fix i gotta fix that too yeah. um, uh so zero for me that drops you back to 40 the easy one Just was give me southern the bastards okay uh what auburn jersey was the drunk wearing in the bar oh bo jackson no cam newton that's what that's what i was hoping would happen it was oh, cam newton cam newton i it was a big old number two Dude, that's right. I see. I would have screamed. I yeah. I would have done Bo because I mean Bo would be more. Yeah. Because I he, thought Southern Bastards. I thought yeah. Southern Bastards was before Cam. No, it was after Cam. Yeah. yeah. See, and that's where like the only other jersey you would wear would have been Bo Jackson. Bo or Pat. Yeah. Or Pat's. Yeah. Um, uh, so so Davis got one right. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. I'm listening. Uh, I thought I almost gave it away with genre because most of the stuff we do is genre. Um, yeah, but it is excluding next week when we do One Piece Volume Two. How many? How, how many, many episodes anime? have we done on uh manga? Yeah, I I was wondering if that was gonna be yeah. Uh, so One Piece Volume One, uh, Attack on Titan, one. Uh, yeah, we only did one. Uh, my hero, One Punch. I feel like I'm missing one. Six. <laughs> Six. Uh, no. So, how close was it? Seven. Oh, so I was one off. Yeah. Okay. Um, it was Death Note. One Punch Death Man. Note. There it is. Yeah. Which I don't even think you said six to begin with, because you're missing two. Yeah, um, I, I did. I got to four. You just said, I'm missing one, so I'll just say six. Yeah, I just yeah. added Yeah, I added another one. Um, Death Note, One Punch Man. Yeah, I got it. My Hero Academia. Got it. One Piece. Got it. Go Go Loser Ranger. I missed that one. Attack on Titan. Got that one. Lone Wolf and Cub. So I missed three off the list. How did I, I, even, get so. to, how did I even get to five? It made it. You made it sound like you uh, thought we did two Attack on Titan, but I, we only I, did one. Yeah, only did. That's what it was. Then. You read ahead on Attack on Titan. Oh, I, yeah, I read to like volume nine. Yeah. But yeah. Well, uh, cool. That does it for this week's. So glad we kind of kept it a little bit shorter because we're Woo-hoo. about to have to turn around and do another one. Yay! Um, uh, yeah, we need to do the draft. We want, we want to pick it from the jar. Or we want to pick it from the draft. Uh, like jar. Jar, jar, jar. Uh, big money, big money, big money, no whammies. And we're probably going to do this one off our dome in the next episode. <laughs> this will be, if you are starting your own universe, which four characters do you steal to start? We did that one already. Why is it in the list? Then? Oh, maybe some like thinking. I don't know. Uh, we did favorite writers, top comedies, dream. No, we did well, this is just... This is just what, okay, well, yeah. that was a whammy. Big money, big money, big money. That one might have got put back in. I don't know why we put it back in. I don't know. I didn't do it. Okay, nerdy bucket list. We did that. We did that one too. Are you putting these bitches back in? I haven't put shit. Oh, I bet you I know what did, what happened. What? It was on the thing and they probably got, when we removed it, they wife probably put them back in there. Uh, what four books would your comic class be? 
Yeah. Oh, I like that one. What comic if you were teaching books? a class oh, on comic what books, you, oh. what would your four books be? Okay, I like that. Yeah. So, starting your universe is gone, and nerd bucket list is gone. Yeah. Time I like that one a lot. I don't remember what we did for your own universe. Uh, you took a whole bunch oh, there of it galactic is. Uh, characters. Yeah, Dark Side, Galactus, Hal Jordan, Ego. You did Vandal, <laughs> Spider Man, Captain America, and Batman. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just did that. Yeah, in October. Mm-hmm. Cool. But uh, that will do it for this week. Uh, check out uh, all the rest of our episodes. Hit subscribe wherever you're listening or watching. Uh, I don't know why I randomly just went into this outro, but hey, we'll see (laughs) y'all next week. Bye. Bye.